Okay, let's do another one. Again, grab your scrap paper, put it next to your question, and then just start recording the information, putting it into order. So let's read the question. An aircraft departs an airport in the Central Standard Time Zone at 0845 Central Standard Time. So we write down 0845 Central Standard Time. Okay, now it's for a two-hour flight to an airport located somewhere else in the world. So we add on two hours. Add that up. You got 45, 8 and 2 are 10. 10 what? 1045 what? Central Standard Time, right? We didn't even look at the rest of the question which because it would get confusing, but now we will. So we know that in, central, in terms of Central Standard Time, he lands at 1045 Central Standard Time. But they say that he's landing in a, uh, at an airport located in Mountain Standard Time. So we know we have to convert to Mountain Standard Time. And how do we do that? Very simple. We get our chart here. We ignore the numbers to the right. We're only looking to the left. We started in the Central Time Zone. We landed in the Mountain Time Zone. So they're one hour apart. Since mountain is west of central, you minus the hour. So it's minus one hour. So you go back to here, you write minus one hour, and your answer is 9.45, really 0, 9.45, mountain standard time. Now, we continue. It's not asking for the local time. It's asking for the landing at what coordinated universal time. And what's another name for coordinated universal time? Zulu time. So how do we convert 0945 to Zulu time? Zulu. And here's how we do it. We go back to the chart. Go to standard time. We're in mountain standard time, so you're going to add 7 you add seven hours. So, you add seven hours to the Mountain Standard Time, and that's 45, that's a six, and that's a one. So, the answer should be 1645 Zulu. And let's see if there's a 1645 choice. There it is, 1645 Zulu, answer C, and if you look over here, the answer C is correct. It's as simple as that. They're all like that. Let's do another one.